Let's look at example 1-1, one uh, which is found in the third edition. Uh, if you have the fourth edition, it is example 1-2, but the sum is exactly the same. We are told that atmospheric pressure is 760 millimeter mercury. We need to convert this to newton per meter squared or kilonewton per meter squared or bar. These are the different variations of uh, expressing pressure and in particular we'll be very interested as we are talking about atmospheric pressure. Now we are told that the relative density of mercury is 13.6 and we are given the density of water as 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. So we start off by using the hydrostatic equation. The hydrostatic equation links the pressure with the three components, the density of the medium, gravity, and the head above the point at which the pressure is being measured. So in the case of atmospheric pressure, the head will be the atmosphere above the surface of the earth, the thickness of the atmosphere. And since we are using mercury, we are going to use the density of mercury uh, as our density to put into this equation. Now in the next line, we have the three components, the density of mercury, G and the head. Now all it leaves for us to do is to substitute these three components into our hydrostatic equation. So if you look at the next line, you can see the terms inserted and the evaluation in the end gives us 1 101.4 times 10 to the power of 3 newton per meter squared and we usually will use one decimal place. We can also express it in terms of kilo newton per meter squared where the 10 to the power of 3 gets absorbed into the newton to get kilo newton or if we express it in terms of bar the 10 to the power of 5 newton per meter squared becomes the bar. Now let's look at an extension of this. We are in fact given a gauge reading. And remember the gauge reading as read by a pressure gauge is not complete. It is what the gauge tells you relative to atmospheric pressure, which is term zero. So in addition to the gauge pressure, we add the atmospheric pressure, which we have got from the previous sum, to give us the absolute pressure, which is 10.014 bar absolute. And remember, we can only use absolute pressure when we are doing fluid calculations. Gauge pressure is what the pressure gauge reads and by itself is not complete. We have to add atmospheric pressure to our gauge pressure to end up with the pressure we want for computation.